What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I have another top 59 hole course in the world uh, simulator vlog for you today. Today we are playing Mulrani, Mulrani um, Golf Club. This is in County Mayo, Ireland. Highly rated nine hole course. Um, only two tee box options here, men's and women's. So of course we did men's, but usually that means that it's gonna be a tad easier than uh, basically championship level courses or even easier than those Pete Dye courses I've been playing lately. So hoping to be somewhere around even par by the end of these nine holes. Um, but anything can happen, who knows? Got the Garmin Approach R10, Country Club Elite mat, my uh, DIY makeshift stance mat with the uh, artificial turf tiles here from Amazon. Going again with the uh, Nitro Pulsar ball, seem to be liking it so far. Performs pretty similar to the uh, Callaway Superfast, so thinking we're gonna stick with these for a little while. And then 10 by seven nets, and home tee hero that you're seeing on uh, on screen running on my phone in the Garmin Golf app. So first hole, we got a par five, 460 yards. Looks pretty wide open, so we're gonna grip and rip the driver here. Down seven yards as well, which will help on the distance if we can, if we can uh, connect on one. Should be decent. I might overcook a little bit to the left and it came out a tad low, but that should be out there. Two eighty something by the looks of it. All right, decent start. Second shot, we got one seventy six down two, so we're at one seventy four. That's right between an eight and a seven. I think I'm gonna go soft seven, play it a little bit smarter. If anything, we'll catch the uh, back side of the green if we come up a little long. But usually if I can, if I club up a little bit, just in case I catch one fat or don't hit one exactly 100%, which we usually don't, a um, little bit of extra club seems to help. And we caught it heavy and right. That still might be short. Well, that's a waste of a stroke. 22 yards. Gonna go 60 degree. Let's see, this is a par five, so we get this inside that inner circle for a bird. We get it on the green for a par. Probably gonna be a little short, but at least it was relatively straight. Go, not quite. All right, it's gonna be a par to start it. Second hole, par four. Got a bunch of water running up the left side, so definitely gonna aim a little bit right here on the fairway. Might as well go a little bit more. We got plenty of room right, so. Similar to the last one, still kind of low. I'm launching these low lately. Not getting as much distance out of them if I could, if I launched them just a tad higher. One oh three left, down two. We got one oh one. Gonna go pitching wedge, choke down pitching wedge. I'm gonna focus on all of my irons, like I have been the past few rounds, but definitely make more of a concerted effort of uh, keeping my head down, kind of body down, and making sure I'm staying down um, when I'm coming through the ball. A 
ball is moving as I'm tapping the mat. Oh. That was very close to a hosel rocket. Club twisted, that was as close to the, the heel of the club as you can get without hitting the hosel. Horrendous. Forty-four yards, down two, plus we gotta add another four or five, so just shy of fifty yards here going fifty-two degree. Hopefully that's not too long. Should be decent. It's gonna be a tad left, but should come back right a little bit. And that's exactly what happened. Bogey. All right, gonna need a bird here. And get that stroke back. Third hole, par four, nice and open again. Seems like a decent line there. Actually, might run out a little bit of fairway there if we hit one, so. Aim right up the right side, I think. Try to draw one back. Low on the face again, and that was more towards the heel. That's probably gonna it's coming left, but that wasn't great. And the distance reflected that only 262. All right, 82 yards. This is starting to get to that distance where it's between a kind of a fuller 52 versus softer pitching wedge. I'm gonna go pitching wedge. See if I make the right decision here. 82 yards. I don't know if I hit that hard enough. I did not. Terrible. I'll learn my lesson eventually, trying to get cute with some of these shots, trying to do in-between shots versus just taking the club and hitting more of a fuller shot, whether that means it's coming up a little long or a little short. 24 yards left, going 56. Should be decent there. Brown's getting away from us here these first couple holes. I think we're two over now. Fourth hole, par four. 430. I'm gonna try to launch this one just a tad higher. Swing up on it a little bit. That was launched higher, but it was pushed right. Got to get back to whatever I was doing those first, the first hole. I don't think the second driver shot was too bad either, but since then, no bueno. All right. 177 down seven, so we're at 170 plus we'll call another 17 or 18. So 187, gonna go six iron, which is usually 190.
struck decent. It's probably gonna fade right, but. take that again remember it's 172 so it's actually probably a little more than 190 you got to add the uh, reduction of the rough I can imagine if people are new watching this it could be a little confusing if I'm saying 190 and it goes 170 and I almost get it there all right what is this all of a sudden now we've got tons of water all around the place luckily it's a decently wide fairway not super wide but we've got room so i'm gonna aim i guess i gotta go down the middle who knows sometimes i push them right sometimes i turn them back over down five yards which will help but we gotta try to keep this one as straight as possible even if we don't uh put it out there super far It's gonna be left, but I don't think far enough left to get us in trouble. That should be in the fairway. All right, 276, getting back towards our uh, kind of stock driver swing distance. 142 left up three, so we're at 145. We've got more water on the right, or at least it's closer on the right, so I'm gonna aim left side of this green. I'm gonna hit a nine iron. choke down about an inch on it I popped it up but I grabbed the extra club so it might be decent it's probably gonna be still a tad short but we got it there No bloodshed on that one with a par. Sixth hole, par three. Got a bunch of water left. Make sure this camera's still going. Grab some Gatorade, get a little extra energy to go over this water. All right, 206 down once. We're at 205, which is kind of right between a four and a five. I guess I'll go four iron. Could probably get the five there, but the four will give us a little extra room. And usually I fade these irons. Don't even really try to. I try to hit them as straight as I can, but just because we got the water on the left, I'm gonna aim, like you saw, just a tad right. Definitely pushed it right. That was about 15, 20 yards right. Maybe even more. We've got 30 yards left to the pin. I don't know if that was 30 yards right, but probably pretty close to that. So 30 yards, plus we're in the rough, so we'll call it another three or four. I'm gonna go 56. The ball got spit back out at me. Not too bad though. I've been popping up this club lately more than I've been doing in the past. I don't know if it has more so to do with the ball. It's probably mostly my swing, but it seems to be climbing up the club face. And usually with my 56, it usually comes around somewhere right here. Like a 30 yard shot, I grip down to just where my, my right thumb is like half on the metal, half on the grip. But lately, I've been hitting them towards the top of the net, which that one I guess worked out luckily, but 
little higher than I would like and what I'm used to. Seventh hole. All right, we're gonna get a birdie on one of these last three holes here. We're plus three. Not horrendous, but it's not great. All starts with the tee shot here though. Still a little low, but it's gonna go left. Should be out there, however. Hopefully it stays in the fairway. Don't know if it will. Right along the edge. Got a little bit of a rollout. And we're just like a yard or so into the fairway, 280. I'll take that. All right, 96 yards, pitching wedge. See if we can actually hit one here and put it close for the pitching wedge. The toughest part of golf, in my opinion, obviously. They always say, they have the saying, drive for dough or drive for show, puff for dough for a reason, basically meaning it all comes down to that short game. You gain or lose the majority of your strokes within like 100 yards. Specifically, mostly putting, even probably 20, 30 yards and then putting on the green. Came out kind of thin, that might be too much. Plus two, par. Not the birdie we were looking for. We got two more chances at it. Ooh, par three. Usually give up most of my strokes on the par three, so we'll see here. 160 down one. Usually that would be like a full nine, but back's feeling some fatigue here, so I'm gonna go eight iron. Choke down just a tad. Pulled it left. That was about right. I didn't deserve to be on the green there. Probably in real life might have gone a little bit further left than that, but plus three. That's going to be another bogey. Now we basically need an eagle. Ninth hole, par four. Is this reachable? It looks kind of short. 293. Uh, it's up 10 though. So that's really basically 303 is the pin. Tried to go after it, hung it out to the right. That side spin really kills the distance. Plus the rough too, you don't get as much of a rollout, but 42 yards, up three, so we're at 45, plus we'll call it another four or five, so right around 50, maybe 51, 52. I'm gonna go 52 degree, see if I can stick this green. Should be decent. All right, we'll take that. I think that's our bird. Yes, indeed, but definitely did not finish that even par. This is just putting us back to uh, the first hole again. So we're gonna call it here. Take a look at the scorecard from Mulraney, Mulraney, Golf Club in County Mayo, Ireland. We ended up with a plus 338, so I guess you could call that around even par, but honestly, we like to be 
actually even par if not under so kind of three strokes isn't a whole lot but um, kind of an ugly scorecard there mostly pars and uh and bogeys four bogeys which is not great on a course like this we had four pars and then one bird so um four out of seven fairways not too bad wasn't really bombing the driver but some of them went straight so over 50 percent we'll take that and then same thing with greens regulation it's like 75 percent we'll take that for sure want to be at least uh four or five and then 18 putts that's not great that's right at two putts a hole across nine holes that's kind of bad that's towards the upper upper end of uh what we're looking for we want to be ideally um realistically one and a half putts a hole and then the goal is is one putt a hole but that's probably unrealistically low but that's what we're aiming for um so not too bad not the best golf not the worst um three over kind of is what it is um let me know maybe if uh you're watching this if you're from the area if you have any other uh courses nearby you'd like to see me play let me know in the comments or anyone else watching, give me some uh, requests or recommendations. Basically, if uh, if you've played it or you've heard of it in real life, there's a very high chance it's on Home to Hero and I'll play it. So if you let me know in the comments, I'll write it down and uh, keep the list going of subscriber requested courses. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe share the video to someone that uh, maybe is considering an R10 or you think would like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next course.